Welcome to the Acaran Sector. Welcome to round two of this marine tournament. If you haven't seen round one, please go follow the link and uh, watch that one. And uh, I recommend watching the introduction video uh, that goes through all the armies, the concept and the uh, overall rules for the game. And today the White Scar successors, the Raging Dragons, are going up against the Blood Angels. And these guys have met a few times before and it's never really ended well for the uh, the Raging Dragons. So it could be the day, this be the day that that changes. Um, so as we've done before, uh, the uh, game has been decided in the introduction. I've not looked at these cards. So our first look will be the map. Ooh, it's an interesting one. The game type is standoff. So there's an objective in the center. Um, one objective marker in the deployment zone. At the end of each battle round, each player scores one victory point if they control their marker, two for the center, and three for the opponents. And our twist today is Cyclone. Oh. I completely forgot to do the twist in the first game. Let's try and avoid doing that again. Subtract one from the strength of attacks if the target is more than 18 inches away. That will affect a little bit. So, yeah, as we can say, what the uh, White Scar successors led by a chaplain, Outriders, Lance Fusils, Blade Guard, and uh, Assault Intercessors, and then the uh, Assault Intercessors, Captain with a Jump Pack. Terminators and uh, Assault Marines with jump packs. So um, as all as with before, I will set the board and jump back in. The Blood Angels, one that Roloff decided to be defender, chose the um, incoming Chevron. So these are holding the objective. The jump troops and the captain are ready to push up forward and the Terminators are in reserve. The uh, We've ignored this flank because it's one objective there, the centre one. Uh, that is the centre of the battlefield, so it's going to be difficult to hold that one. But And the other objective is underneath there. So the uh, Eliminators and the Blade Guard are double holding that one just for um, redundancy. That's the word I was looking for. And the Assault Intercessors and the Chaplain are on this side. And that's about it. So... I don't think this half of the board is going to get much use. Well, we shall go and see who gets turn one. And again, the roll-off winner can choose first or second. The Raging Dragons will... Uh, go second. Let the Blood Angels come in first. So Blood Angels, turn one. So a very quick movement phase. These guys have tucked in, but they've still got a bit of trouble from the last few cells. But these guys have charged forward. B12 inch movement. Shoot into those guys. And then charge them and hopefully remove them. And uh, have a bit less to worry about. So there's five pistol shots. Hitting on threes. Be rolling once because the captain's there. Wounding on fours. One, three up save. Ooh, no. Ooh. So one wound taken by one of these. And I guess it's just charge straight in. So the captain will go first, plus one on the charge. So that's eight inch charge. I think that should do it. Yeah. So the captain moves in and then hopefully the other guys will follow. Uh, seven. Yes. Uh, 
on the power fist get in first. Yes, he will. So the power fist will go in first, and then when they activate, they can consolidate in. Uh, no interruptions again, because nobody's taken that stratagem. And the captain gets four attacks, five on the charge, plus three for the Teeth of Terror. All right, it's five on the charge. And yeah, we're in Devastator Doctor. These guys, are, we've all to go through normally. Uh, hitting on twos. No re-rolls. Wounding on threes. Wounding on twos because of the Blood Angels. Two, six. Uh, AP minus two minus one, four up saves. Oh. Two damage apiece, two, four. <laughs> Four of them dead. One of them had taken a wound. Uh, oh yeah, that's the, the sergeant at the back there for taking out combat. And those guys can not consolidate in because that's not going to be productive for three attacks from blade guards. We don't want that. And. Well, that is the end of turn one for Blood Angels. Can we repel? That is the question. Uh... Right, yes. Well, we're going to turn one for the Raging Dragon. So we went for uh, Litany of Hate and we pointed the Blade Guard so they can reroll all their hits and they've moved right in. Everything's moved in. A Remembered morale, he passed. Last year's stayed still. They can take shots here. The bikers can put shots. Hopefully we can clear away uh, some of them first. Right. So we will start with the shooting phase. The bikes will shoot into the jump marines. So one, two, three. Hitting on threes. Well, that's not good. I think on fours. Ah, so four with armor of contempt, three ups. Just a single one takes a wound. That was not as good as I'd hoped. The last few cells were shooting to here. Three shots, they didn't move, so you think on twos. Wounding on uh, twos, because they're not more than 18 inches away. Uh, AP minus four, but uh, six up save, nope. So we do just nuke one of those. Um, so there is uh, the blade guard have just normal bolt pistols. Heavy bolt pistol. Uh, yeah. So there are four bolt pistols into the uh, jump packs. Three from the blade guard, one from the remaining. Running on fours, saving on threes. Nope. So we actually do kill one. That's a good start. The Absolver Bolt Pistol is Absolver Bolt Pistol he has. Strength 5. Yep. Ooh, 2 damage. Hitting on 3s. Wounding on 3s. Saving on a 3 up. Now it saves. And that the end of the shooting phase. The bikers will charge the jump packs. Snake eyes? Nope. 
The blade guard will charge both the captain and the jump pack. Three. Okay, this is rolling well. Yeah, well they're in, but only two of them are fighting. The chaplain will just have to go against the jump packs. Seven, oh well, well he's in. And he can probably get through there, yes. So can he get through? Five. Ugh. Yes, just. So we will start with the single uh, guy. He gets four attacks because he's next to the Warlord. Hitting on uh, threes. Six is hit auto wound because that's what they do. Wounding on fours. That's four. Saving on threes. They all save. The uh, chaplain has five attacks. Uh, five attacks plus D3 for his relic, uh, for his warlord trait. Uh, so that's three attacks. Uh, hitting on twos, wounding on threes. Sixes to hit, auto wound. So that's six. AP minus one, so saving on threes. And they all save. Ah, dear. The two blade guard that can attack. Can he consolidate to... No, because he's there. They're just going to attack the captain, I guess. Which one's the sergeant? Yeah, the sergeant is this one, so he can attack. Uh, so that's four plus five. Rerolling all hits. Hitting on threes. No sixes. Uh, strength plus one. So wounding on threes. Two, four, eight. Eight. He's got a storm shield, so four of involves. So he just takes two damage. And he's got a five up, feel no pain. He takes a single damage, putting him down to four wounds. The Jump. Ooh, now Blood Angels. Is it when they charge the plus one to wound, or is it when they get charged? Oh, what's charge of right? Okay, yep, they are plus one to wound. So the captain into the blade guard. It's five attacks plus three. Hitting on twos. Wounding on twos. Four, five. We got just have a three up save. Yep. Plus one for the shield or four involve. 
I want this the AP minus two, yeah, so four up either way. Four ups. Ah. That kills two blade guards. They have three wounds apiece. Yep. So I'll leave just the just the sergeant. Uh, so yep, that's just him left. These guys will go all into um, the chaplain. So jump packs have. All right, good. Three attacks. One, two, three for chain sword, and on the charge, and then two for the, and then on the charge. So the three power fist, and let's do the power fist first. Hitting on fours, rerolling ones because the captain's there. Wounding on twos. Saving up on the four of invul. Yep. And then the chain swords. Hitting on threes. Wounding on threes because of uh, they've been charged. So that's two, two, four, uh, three up saves, which they pass. So the captain doing well, but the. Uh, Jumping Marines, not so much, but they're all locked in. Well, uh, yeah, the captain will consolidate in to keep them locked up in combat. Although we can fall back and charge in again, which we may won't want to do. So at the end of turn one, it's one point each because we both hold our home objectives. And that is it as we go into turn two. We used our stratagem to jump these guys into the air. They can come back down next turn. Uh, we've remained in combat with the captain. He should be able to stand up to the blade guard pretty well. These guys have moved out of the way. Um, so I'll get the last few souls. And the captain has ordered the Terminator to drop down on the center objective and say, yeah, take this from me. So that could be very, very difficult. Um, especially with the captain still being tied up there. So we will have to see how that one goes as we go um, into the shooting phase, which isn't going to happen because there's nothing to shoot. And we'll go straight into the fight phase. So the blade guard uh, champion gets to go first. Five attacks because he's near the chaplain and that uh, honor vehement always gives them on. And he can reroll all hits. And you can wound on threes and four up involves. And then, uh, no, so he does take two damage, putting him down to two wounds. And he can attack back with three for the Teeth of Terror. And then we'll take four attacks he has base. Yep. And no plus one to wound because he didn't charge. He shouldn't have consolidated really. Hit it on twos. Wound it on uh, threes. Four. Four up saves. Two wounds putting him down to one. And that is the end of it for the Blood Angels. As we go into <coughs> turn two for the uh, Raging Dragon. Ignoring the Terminators for now, we're going for their home objective. If we can take that from them, unfortunately they're obsex, so we do need to kill the unit. Form out of combat here, move round. Oh, here's Litany 
doesn't go off. That's okay. I missed that anyway. Um, hmm. As we go into the shooting phase, uh, we're in tactical doctrine. So the two that can shoot into there, the, the one at the back you can't see. Hopefully, soften them up a bit. One, two shots. Hitting on threes, wounding on fours, just the two, four up saves, so we do manage to put a singular wound on one of them to see if we can, uh... right, into the captain there is one bolt gun and one absolver, the well, bolt pistol, sorry, bolt pistol hits. Wounds, saves on a, not that. Uh, we will use the command reroll on that one, I think. Yeah, that saves. And the absolver hits. Wounds. Uh, so it's absolver's AP minus one. So I think it's going to be a three up save with, yep. So yeah. Oh, and that's two damage. And he's got his film of pains. So he makes that. <clears throat> Puts him down to one wound. And the last few cells will fire at the Terminators. Three shots, hitting on twos, wounding on twos, uh, four up saves, and that is just it's a flat three damage for a last few still. Yes, so that will just kill one of them outright. We're going to the charge phase. These guys will charge in. I do need a bit of a longer charge to get everybody in. Eight. That'll do it. I can swing round. And that, there we are. So hopefully we can take the objective. The blade. We can fall out of combat and re-enter. So the blade guard vet. He's in. The sergeant is in. And the chaplain is in. So, there we are. So we will start with the uh, chaplain. He gets one extra attack. So he has four base. Yep. Four base plus one plus the one extra. Hitting on twos. Wounding on threes. I don't know if any sixes there. AP minus one, so saving on threes because of the shield. And the Crozius does two damage, which he um, survives. Uh, the Blade Guard veteran gets five attacks, hitting on threes. That one does auto wound, wounding on threes, saving on four up. And then, no, we actually do cut him down. It was a brave move, but in the end, we cut them down. And then the bikers get ridiculous a number of attacks. Uh, plus two attacks. So the two outriders get two attacks. Plus one for the charge, plus one for chainsword, plus two for the, the extra thing. Surgeon gets three, shock assault, chainsword, plus two. All right. Hitting on threes, just the two sixes. Wounding on fours. 
two, four, six, seven. Saving on threes because of armor of content. One, two, three, four, six. Uh, and that's just the one wound on that guy. And they get to attack back. So, right. So there is three regular guys. One, two, three. The sergeant. Uh, four chain swords, four shock assaults, hitting on threes. Wounding on fours because of savage echoes. And two, four, six, seven. Saving on threes. So that's three wounds, putting one of the bikes down to one wound. As long as it's not the sergeant. And we didn't take that objective for them. So it's just one point each. Oh, no, no way. So it's two, three points for the Blood Angels, one point for the Raging Dragons as we go into turn three. So turn three for the Blood Angels. The uh, Terminators have moved around. There are seven inch charge with the plus one to the bikers here, or they can stay there and, and some more points. These guys have jumped in to try and distract them from moving over to the Terminator. And oh, no, also the Terminators now at five of the last few cells. Um, so we went into the shooting phase. So the um, pistols into combat. Always get pistols into combat first. So four shots. Um, we're now oh, both sides are in the assault doctrine because yay plus one attack and plus one damage. Uh, hitting on threes and then fives. Oh, four. They're now AP minus two, so four up saves with Armour of Contempt. So we kill the biker and put him down to three wounds. All right, the Terminators now probably can't make that charge. Pistols into the, just the lone sergeant. Hitting on threes. Wounding on fours. Saving on a three because of Armour of Contempt. No. Ooh. Putting him down to a wound. Um, right, so yeah, eight inch charge into ooh. that's an eight and a half inch. This is gonna be an eight inch charge. Well, nine and a half inch. This is gonna be an eight inch charge. So I'll declare both. So I need an eight. I got my command point reroll. Oh, 12. Yeah, these guys are <laughs> charge happy. So we'll put the power fist into him and all the chainsaws into there. So the power fist gets two attack, plus one for the charge, plus one for savage echoes, hitting on fours, wounding on twos. Uh, saving on sixes now because it's AP minus four and two damage. Yeah, that's them done. And then the chain swords. So there's three and one attack each, plus shock assault, plus chain sword, plus the savage echoes. Hitting on threes, wounding on threes because of plus one two wound. Oh, just the four, or uh, three. AP minus two, minus so four up, save either way. So he takes a single wound. And he has five wounds, putting him down to four. And 
then the defenders, the bikers have three attacks and chainsword, two attacks and chainsword, hitting on threes, no sixes, wounding on fours, four, uh, four up. So we do take down one more. And so there's uh, Sergeant and Chainsword, two regular guys and Chain and Chainsword, yep. No benefits now, threes. And uh, fives. Two four up saves, which they both make. So the bikers remain in combat there, and we're in combat over there. Ooh, what can we do? What can we do? Right, we will go into the Raging Dark Dragons, turn three. The Chaplain's Litany fell to go off again, but he's fallen out of combat so he can charge back in. The last few cells have got the adaptive strategy strat, so they're in all doctrines, so there'll be AP minus four on their last few cells. Fallen out here and use uh, hit and run so we can fall out and uh, still shoot. And uh, hopefully, yeah, deal some damage there. And we'll figure out those guys in a minute because they can charge back in and then get two damage on the charge. Right, shooting first, last few cells into those guys. Anything on twos. Uh, saving, uh, wounding on twos. Saving on sixes. No. So we kill two of them. The absolver bolt pistol. Oh no, he, no, no the regular bolt pistol, the, the heavy bolt pistol hits, doesn't hit. And these guys. Two shots, or two bikers, and then fours, ah, just the one, saving on a three, yeah. bikers will charge back in, three inches, yep, that will do it, uh, the chaplain will charge back in, He's in, and the blade guard, he's in as well. So these guys better do their job. He's on to four wounds. And the chaplain will go first with the D3 extra attacks for two. And four attacks plus five, plus the honor vehement, hitting on twos, Whew. wounding on threes, uh, AP minus two now, so four up saves. Oh, they tank it. Blade Guard gets five attacks. Hitting on threes. That one auto wounds. Uh, wounding on threes. And that's two, four, five. Uh, AP minus four. So six up saves. And two damage, two, four, well, that's three. Yours. So we'll consolidate towards the nearest enemy. And, what, well, three damage on the charge there. And, uh, right, the bikers. One, two, one, three. Uh, chainsword. Shock Assault, and then the extra two. Hitting on threes. And 
only on forms. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven. Save it on fours. One, two, three, four. There are three of them left. We will consolidate onto the nearest enemy, which is the, onto the objective. And that is the end of turn three. So we've got three, four points and two points there. Uh, putting us six to six. So it's a tie at the end of round three. Blood Angel is trying to force this to a tie. If they can clear off this objective, then um, there'll be one point each. And I'll have to clear off those in 10, 4 and 5, which could be very, very tricky. And there's no shooting. So we will go straight on to the charge phase. Oh, wrong dice. Four. Five on the charge. Uh, I think we need to come and re-roll that one. Six. Yeah, that'll do it. But even with consolidation, there's still only two that they can attack and not the sergeant. Hmm. So they're get units. Two attacks each, plus one for Savage Echo, plus an extra one each for the Lightning Claws. Hitting on threes. Wounding on fives, but re-rolling. Oh, uh, fours, but re-rolling because of Lightning Claws and Blood Angels. Two, four, six, seven. AP minus three, so five up saves. Ooh, so that'll kill the one that's got what? Oh, it's got three wounds. So it'll put the sergeant down to three wounds. He'll consolidate in. He'll get three attacks for chainsword. Uh, three attacks for base, chainsword, and then charging. But he doesn't get his extra stuff. Hitting on. That wounding on fours, saving on a three up. No, we do. We do tickle a wound off off a. Uh... So putting one of them down to two wounds as we got into turn four for the raging dragons. So again, we've gone for Fallout and Shoot, and again, we've put them in all doctrines. And um, we got the Canticle of Hate off, so we've got plus two to charge, so that's going to be a nice, simple charge to get into there. And see if the Terminators can survive or not. First of all, shooting. Uh, put the four shots in first, you never know. Hitting on threes. Winning on fours. Saved. Last few sills. Hitting on twos, wounding on twos, and saving on eight minus four minus three, saving on fives. So we save one of them, so that just kills the one that was already heavily wounded. Ah. So the bolt pistol and the absolver bolt pistol. The bolt pistol hits, wounds saving on a three, the absolver bolt pistol hits, wounds on a three, save on not that, so again that's two wounds, putting it down, one of them down to one, and the biker will charge in. So yeah, that's in. So that's done. That's 
done the um, blade guard will go in with a plus two that's eight nine ten let's see all right so he's gonna tuck into that one there and then the uh, chaplain Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh, I think that's definitely in as well. Yep. So now we've just got to hope that. Um, hmm. So the biker gets three attacks, chainsword on a vehement now, and the two extra hitting on threes, wounding on fours. Two, three up saves. That will take down the one that's on one wound. Uh, the blade guard gets five attacks. Hitting on threes. Wounding on threes. That's five. AP minus four, minus three, so they've gone the five up. So that's three, three damage a piece. And there's only two of them left. So the Blood Angels are removed from the game, end of turn four. So turn five, he'll just move on to there. So we'll score uh, four points in turn four and six points in turn five. So that's 10, 16 points to six for the uh, white dragons, uh, raging dragons, and they get their revenge Long coming against the Blood Angels. All right, so the next game up will be the runner-up final. Spoiler alert, if you've not watched the first game, that's going to be Death Watch versus the Blood Angels. And then it's going to be Grey Knights versus the Raging Dragons in the finals. Can they repeat what they did against the Death Watch? All right, thank you very much for watching. Please do like, subscribe, follow along, and we will see you in the next game.